Yeah, this is Diablo Build Dictionary, and um, there's huge change and exciting news for 2.06. Mainly is because of the legendary drop rates on set items. Yes, that's right, set items. And I actually got three pieces of set items in the last two hours, uh, w w which is pretty amazing. Uh, it used to took me six weeks to farm six pieces of jade on my Wish Doctor, but... Um, <laughs> The, but here's one, there's one catch. I only got one piece set item from Farming Torment 5. Uh, but I got these two other pieces from Kadawa and they are still fresh. Uh, fresh off the boat. So there's this catch, it's called Failsafe. Uh, how I got these legendary is called Failsafe method. What happened is I actually learned this from the number four player in the world, and he's he's number, he's ranked number four in the world, and he's ranked number one in America. And this is his method to farming set items and uh, spot items. <clears throat> so actually, let me go over the three three major changes in this patch first, since that is the title. Um, patch 2.06 changes. Okay, first. Um, I'm gonna go to the legendary part, uh, exploit part, but let me first go over this real quick. I just really, I can't wait to dump these shit. Uh, great thing, adventures journal and all these crafting materials are now junk. You can't throw them away. They're unnecessary and let's just, let's just sell some of them for quick cash. Can't wait to dump these. Fuck you, fuck you too. Where's the other one? Alright. So, that's one huge change and and don't don't just underlook that. That's actually a really huge change. Before, uh, the the pieces that you're gonna be looking at is all guild, all guild sets. You wanna get three pieces or two pieces with uh, ROG. This is actually, if you inspect anyone doing Torment 5 to Torment 6, all of us have three, two pieces on, and now they're actually free. But what happened is it caused a lot of arcane dust, and I'm gonna post a video on how we, the number two guild in the world, uh, I mean number two in America and number four in the world, are actually farming arcane dust these days, along with legendary. Uh, that's gonna be in another video. So, let's go back to Augil, so just so you guys know that these are really important. These, uh, it's gonna increase your damage against elites and come reduces damage from elites by 15%. That's a must. So that's great news. I'm not just, I'm not just presenting you guys uh, what change and awesome, but actually I'm presenting you guys what's important in these change and how they reflect in or high torment gameplay. Okay, so that's one. Uh, the second huge change is actually just to monk. Uh, I already uploaded a new dashing strike. I mean, I call it dashing palm, in and out build for my monk. Uh, torment five, no set gears, but really in and explode and come back out. It's really awesome the change they made to dashing strike and the sets. So. At last, let's get back to leg legendary. I'm really surprised I got two, three set pieces in two hours. That's really record setting. Um, so we call this the fail safe method. Uh, what happened is normally, if you go to Kadala, you can easily go. You can easily spend like one thousand shards with only one to two legendaries, but with this method, you're actually triggering Kadala to give you the legendary spot that you want. Like, let's say I want uh, Berserker. Actually, no. Okay, let's say if I want um, a piece of armor, then uh, definitely this. What you want to do is actually join Rift it forward. Now it's just it's not just simple rifted forward. So you get your shards up first from rifted forward. I hope most of you know what this is. Uh, rifted forward is actually just like if you if you zoom out here, T six rift guarding up, you will open. 
Uh, what, 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 what does that mean? Am I joining a Torment 6 game? No. You're just joining the T6 game for the Guardian and the Guardian that drops 90 shards. So if you follow this method, you're gonna get roughly we average out to 500 shards in 15 minutes. And then you gamble them all away with Kadawa. Uh, yeah, that's right, this bitch. But the uh, problem is Kadawa does not always give you legendary uh, if you don't follow this guideline. This guideline is actually, we call it fail safe. So generally speaking, you wanna join, you can actually solo or you can join games, but I highly prefer uh, joining games because that's gonna be way faster. What happened is you wanna join a uh, normal. You wanna, let's go. Really slow. Server's really laggy today, uh, right after the patch. So you guys really have to take advantage of this situation because I, I do notice Blizzard, uh, they always normalize some things after the patch, if it, it's been crazy. So you wanna go to public game, and you wanna go join game. Wow, this server is really slow today. Okay, there we go. And what you notice right away is like, why are these 522 people here <laughs> doing normal? 522 doing normal, well, of course, I'm 415 too, but okay. So what you wanna do is actually hope that you do not get a legendary. You hope that you don't get a legendary in two in in three normal runs so let's go to weeping hollow a stranger in knee so you actually want to make sure that you do three of these normals or four bounties of torment 5 to torment 6 and make sure you don't get any legendary drops first once that happens then you want to go to Kadawa and ask for the slot that you want. That way, Blizzard will implement, like, the effect will come up, the failsafe effect, uh, which is to prevent players, uh, prevent new players or old players uh, from getting no legendary in six hours or three hours or two hours of gameplay. So normal is just fine. Uh, what Blizzard count is that how many mobs you kill. Uh, let's say if the system noticed that you kill a uh, two games mod, like right here. Um, these real quick arcane dust are really good right now. So what happened is if Blizzard noticed that oh, hey, wow, you're you're in two games, uh, you completed two games, and you actually get credit from these players, like after they do Massacre, you just like suddenly get all these gold uh, landed on top of you if you got the shoulder uh, that gives you gold after, gold after a Massacre. So long story short, here let me do something, long story short, you want to complete three normal rifts. And if you don't see a legendary, then you go to Kadala and ask for the legendary that you want. And very high chance, I, I haven't failed yet. Very high chance I, I get a the gear that I want and a set item that I'm asking for, especially after this new patch. So that is something you guys should really exploit right now. Uh, because I noticed Blizzard, they always change the uh, right after patch like this. A small patch. 
Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. This is the Apple Build Dictionary, and be sure to check out my other uh, riff exploit video. It's called Double Riff, and uh, it's still effective, this patch.